Desire without action is powerless. What significant changes do you desire in your life? If you were forced to choose just one dream to pursue for the rest of your life, what single reality would you like to create? You probably know the answer already. That being the case, why haven't you given this desire? Life. Desires, dreams, and wishes are wonderful things. They can brighten a few moments of an otherwise dull and forgettable day. It's nice to imagine yourself living out your desires. Visualizing your dreams as your reality is a proven practice for getting you closer to making that happen. Visualization is powerful, but it's just part of the process. There are other things you have to do to live your desires. One of those is to take action. Why do you want what it is that you desire? Desires are all about change. You want something that you don't currently have. You have a strong desire to change your current situation. Think back to the example above. Imagine you can only choose one big, meaningful change in your life. This should be something that fires up your emotions. It needs to be a burning desire, one you experience in your mind in every way. Now break it down. Why do you want this experience? What emotions or feelings are you trying to realize? Do you want to achieve the desire temporarily, or will it make a permanent change in your life? Have you always felt this way, or did some person, event, or circumstance influence you? This practice allows your desires to seem real. You start to think of it as something that can happen rather than just a nice dream. The next thing you need to do is work backward from your dream reality. What steps will you take to move from where you are now to where you want to be? Take action to change your life or keep dreaming. The choice is yours. Now that you have broken your desire into its core components and why you want it so badly, you have a choice. You can embrace it as nothing more than a dream, or you can take action. You can start taking the steps required to give your dream life and make it a reality. We have very few things we can control in our lives. You control this moment right now. You have absolute control over whether or not you will start acting on your desires. You can do nothing and keep dreaming. Your life won't change. Or you can take action to change your life and live out your desires. Dreams without actions are powerless. When you act upon your dreams and desires, you give them power. You commit yourself to living your desires and creating positive change in your life. Three powerful practices to give your desires action and help you live your dream life. Oh, to live the life of your dreams. Wouldn't that be nice? Of course it would. What a silly question. You've probably taken action on the things you desire in the past. You may have met with some success, and if you have, congratulations are in order. Many people go their entire lives without experiencing even a little slice of their dreams. If you'd like to move closer to whatever dream you desire, we are here to help. Here are three methods for realizing your dreams that have worked for so many others who dared to take action on their desires. 1. Find your network. There is no end to the many books and courses on self-improvement. The self-help industry generates billions of dollars in sales every year. Whether someone is looking to build the perfect body, develop confidence, become wealthy, or improve their situation in any other way, one bit of advice is usually given. Find people interested in what it is that you desire. Find your network. These should be people who are trying to achieve the same thing you are. Spend time with those who have already succeeded. They are living the life you desire. By surrounding yourself with positive, like-minded individuals, you stay motivated. You can also pick up powerful tips on how to realize the dream you are pursuing. 2. Bathe in Positivity we won't tell you that all you have to do is think positive thoughts to achieve all your desires. However, keeping your thoughts and experiences positive is essential for success. 
people generally move toward what their environment is telling them. Some self-help teachers and life coaches will tell you that you become what you think about most of the time. When your environment and the people you spend time with are positive, you will think positive thoughts most of the time. This positive thinking gives you a better chance to realize your desires. Spend less time with energy vampires and people who bring you down. Read books and stories about people who have succeeded in creating the life you desire. Choose positive influences and motivations over negative reinforcements and ideas. 3. Embrace failure. Desiring significant change means learning to accept failure. A fear of failure has kept many people from living their dreams. See failures as teachers. Learn something from them, recover, and then move on. If your deepest desires are important enough, a few failures won't slow you down. Keep your environment and your experiences positive. Don't be scared to fail. Find a network of people that desire the same things you do and spend time with them. These are some proven practices for taking action on your desires so you create the incredible change you are seeking. Are your desires worth half of your free time? You don't have all the free time you would like. Nobody does. The modern world is hectic. We live in a fast-paced, distracting, noisy environment, a world where we are constantly connected. Perhaps long ago, you decided to unplug. You now limit the time you spend digitally or electronically connected. Good for you. Your mental, emotional, and physical well-being have probably improved considerably. In either of those scenarios, how much time do you dedicate to your dreams and desires? Seriously consider that. Don't automatically think you don't have enough free time. Don't fall back on that ready-made excuse so many people use to justify not living the life they desire. Do this instead. For one solid week, keep track of your spare time. This includes those occasions when you have only a few minutes to spare. Add it all up, and you might be surprised at how much free time you have. Give half of your spare time to frivolous things and the other half to your dreams and desires. When you are tracking your spare time, make sure you include the considerable investment you make in streaming your favorite Netflix series. What does the hour count on your phone look like? How many 10-minute slices of your day are spent waiting for something to happen? What about the time between something you just finished and something else you will begin? J.K. Rowling was a single mother when she wrote the first Harry Potter book. She was living below the poverty level and had to depend on public transportation to get around. Her day was filled with looking for jobs and working, waiting on and riding trains, and being a mom. With very few chunks of significant time available, she wrote whenever she had a few minutes to spare. The first book of the best-selling series of all time was written on scraps of paper, backs of napkins, and anything else she had available to her. If a thought entered her mind, she took a minute to write it down. She didn't gripe about having no time. Instead, she made do with the available time she had. Can't you do the same? If you performed the exercise earlier, where you tracked how much spare time you have, look at that information. Cut the amount of spare time in half. Allow yourself to spend half of your free time doing whatever you like. You don't have to justify any of that time. It can add value to your life or not. Do with it what you will. With the rest of that time, get busy taking action on your dreams and desires. This still gives you a significant amount of time in your life where you can relax and recharge. It also dedicates much of your time to creating your dream life. If you don't make time to act on your deepest desires, they will only ever be desires. To make them a reality requires time and effort. You have the time. Now make the effort. Do your actions reflect your biggest desires? You probably had to get up today and go to work. You may be one of those lucky people who get to work from home. That means not fighting traffic, no road rage episodes, 
not looking for a parking spot when you get to work, and not having to face co-workers you'd rather avoid. You could work in a traditional brick-and-mortar environment. You show up at work just like everyone else, and clock in, and thus, your wonderful workday begins. Jobs are necessary evils for many people. If you are one of the lucky few who enjoy your job or career, kudos to you. When your workday is over, do your actions reflect your deepest desires? Or are they those of most people simply reflecting an average, ordinary, ho-hum life? What do you want out of life? Does some variation of the following experience reflect your typical day? You get up, and one of the first things you do is grab your phone. You jump online, check your email, surf social media, and eventually get ready for work. Maybe you eat, maybe you skip breakfast. You go through the regular work routine. There is a lunch break somewhere, and you no doubt found time to fool around on your phone throughout the day. Work is over, and you head home. You may meet some friends for an after-work activity. Maybe you head straight home. Whatever you do, the internet, your phone, television, and other distractions that provide little value take you to the end of your day. You have dinner, and later, you go to bed. You wake up the following day and start the routine all over again. Is that all you want out of life? If so, that's great. There's nothing wrong with finding fulfillment in everyday activities. However, we're willing to bet you have dreams and desires not fulfilled by the daily experience we just discussed. If so, do your actions match your desires? To make big things happen, you have to take big action. You have dreams, but when was the last time you tried to make them realities? You can always say you're too tired or now isn't the right time or make another excuse. Or you can decide that today is the first day you begin to create your dream reality. Desires are big emotions. They are the most prominent emotions you have. Your actions should be as big as those emotions. They need to be constant and never allow excuses to get in their way. Promise yourself today that you will take at least one step toward realizing one of your biggest dreams. You can only reach your dream destination by getting started. So begin taking action today on your deepest desires and go from being a dreamer to a doer. Don't fall in love with the desires of others. There is more wealth and knowledge today than there ever has been before. Even when you consider that more than 8 billion people are walking around the planet, the wealth of information, opportunities, and money available to us is staggering. The average person has access to more knowledge and resources than at any other time in history. Access to wealth is also better than ever. Think about what it used to take to open a business. You needed lots of money, good credit in many cases, a brick-and-mortar building, employees, and products. Then you had to spend lots of money telling the people in your local area about your business. Now all you need is a computer with an internet connection and an idea. Launch a website on a free blogging platform. You can do this in an afternoon. There are dropship companies that only charge you for products once they are sold. Write an ebook or create a simple how to video course on your phone. Slap it up on your website, and you have a zero cost business that can reach every corner of the globe thanks to the internet. Yet, with all this knowledge, all these resources, and more opportunities than the human race has ever had, most people still are far from living out their dreams. There are many reasons for this. Sometimes, it's because they are too busy chasing the dreams of others. Don't let society dictate what you want. Watch television for a few hours, and you'll believe that everyone has the same essential dreams. That isn't the case. Each of the billions of people alive right now is a unique individual. Your deepest desires and biggest dreams might resemble someone else's, but they certainly aren't the same when you get to the details. This is why you shouldn't let social media or television dictate your desires. Unfortunately, that's what happens far too frequently these days. 
there is a constant barrage of multimedia messages banging into our brains. We are constantly checking our phones. How many monitors, displays, and screens are you faced with at home, at work, and play every day? The video and audio that beg for your attention are endless. This relentless and persistent brainwashing can get you believing you want things that aren't true to who you are. You won't take action on your goals if they don't align with your values. Make a list of your biggest desires. Then, make another list of your values and your beliefs. Start matching the two. You may have been desiring things that don't line up with the unique individual you are. If you're working towards a reality that isn't true to your core beliefs and values, you will find reasons to avoid it. The opposite is also true. When you chase a dream that is perfectly in tune with your values, the things that are truly important to you, you will enjoy taking action. Working to make that dream a reality is fun. You want to do it. Are the desires you've been pursuing really important to you, or are they simply a reflection of what the world has told you is important? Please give yourself a wonderful gift that most people never get from themselves. Take some time to really get to know who you are. What are the most important values and beliefs you treasure? Use those to create your goals. Those values should fuel your thoughts, which will become powerful desires. The next step is taking action. That's easy to do when the dream you are chasing is uniquely aligned with who you are. 